Okay. Well, let's get started, shall we? I'm going to pull this part. Oh, this is always so much fun with these. Come on. Man, these drop in sometimes just. Ah, there we go. Ooh, they fit tight. And we're going to set this off the side. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So, our chamber's empty. Go ahead and do that. This is kind of on the difficult side, but. There we go. Ah, it's our lower receiver. Checking there. Not too bad. We're going to set that off to the side. Hmm. All right. And this is what, the way I like to do it. And we're going to set the upper receiver off to the side for the moment. We're going to concentrate on this. Going to need a couple of shop rags that I like to use. These are cheap too, by the way. You can get them at your local auto parts store. You usually take one. Kind of gives me an idea how much I got to take off these. Just run through them, real, through it real quick. Yeah, we're gonna have to scrub that one. And wipe off our bolt carrier. Just get the excess off it for right now. Now, if you're doing a, a quick clean out on the range, they make uh, a tool that's called a CAT M4 cleaning tool. I've been looking into one. There's a video or two on YouTube that uh, on them, and they're supposed to be making one for the AR-10, so I'm gonna look into getting a couple of those for my cleaning kit. Now these are the TW25B uh, weapon wipes. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down with that. Get all the excess oil off before I tear it apart. Uh, it also helps get some of the grunge off of it. And you can use these just to clean the, the outside of your bolt carrier. And um, Milcom also does have, besides the video I did, they also have their own video, so might look into it. Okay, got a little screwdriver here. Pull out our pin. Now, put that over here. I like to put these parts out separate so I don't lose them. I'll wipe that off. Yeah. Get a firing pin out. Wipe that off. I uh, got some gunk right around the end of it. Uh, we'll get that cleaned off. Some carbon buildup. Okay. 
Get our pin out here. Like I said, kind of used to my AR-10. It, uh, ooh, oh, that's pretty dirty. You know, parts are a lot easier to work with, but it's pretty much the same process. So, uh, bolt out. Oop, I forgot to add one more tool. Use uh, I like to use an LED flashlight. Gives me a look down inside there. That way. Uh, hopefully you can see in there. It's not too bad in there. Hmm. <laughs> That'll be nice. And then our bolt. Okay, we're gonna disassemble this. And oh, we're getting a lot of, a lot of. These are nice. We're getting a lot of carbon and a lot of dirt off of here. So, but yeah, you can see all the the carbon on the back side of the bolt. I'm very OCD about getting all that cleaned off, so. I'll show you how I do that. I need to uh, run over here and get something for a minute. That I forgot to grab. Okay, now some of you might remember this little jobber from my reloading videos, but um, I like to use it to inspect the back side of the bolt. Yeah, it kind of gives you an idea how much carbon buildup's actually on here. Like I said, this is pretty much a thorough cleaning, so. And you can also inspect the face of your bolt for any problems or anything. This is a good handy little item. Okay, we're going to finish taking the bolt apart. Our pick. Push the bolt. Push the pin out. Wipe that off. Okay. This isn't, uh, just to let you know, this isn't my, uh, all I do for cleaning. I will go through all that here uh, in the next f couple segments. I'm just kind of wiping it off to start. And it looks like we've got quite a bit of brass up in there. So that'll need a good cleaning. Okay, so we've disassembled the bolt carrier and the bolt. Okay, on with the cleaning. <laughs> 